Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. In my previous video, Raspberry Pi Alternatives, we were looking at Raspberry Pi Alternatives for around $50 or less. And I went ahead and settled on this Libre Computer La Potato. I got it from Amazon for 50 bucks. And you know how it is. I had a beer and then Amazon sent me this suggestion to get the eMMC module for the the La Potato as well. The 20 bucks, I thought, what the heck. So I went ahead and got it. Now, let's unbox this and see if we can do something with it. All right, you can see it comes in a similar size shape box as the Raspberry Pi. And the picture shows, basically, it's the similar form factor as a Raspberry Pi 3. You've got the audio jack, HDMI port, the micro USB for power. Obviously, the 40-pin header there. Let's go ahead and open the bag. It's a little stout trying to get it all out of that Ziploc bag there. Oh, look, yeah, there's an infrared receiver. It's kind of pushed back a little bit. Oh, yeah, there on the bottom, that's where you can mount that eMMC module right there. Other than that, it looks like the Raspberry Pi 3 form factor, except it's got the infrared receiver. There's a serial header on here that they say is for troubleshooting. Hopefully we don't have to do any troubleshooting. And you got four USB ports and uh, Ethernet network connection there. Let's check out this eMMC module. Yeah, it comes with this A to A USB cord, so it makes you think, you know, like when we were working with the Raspberry Pi uh, CM4 that you could uh, go into boot and it would attach as a hard drive and then you could just flash it. We're, we'll play with that a little bit later on. But yeah, this eMMC module is really tiny. I just got to pop it out of the tray here. There we go. <laughs> Now this is a this is a eMMC5. The everything I saw on the product page, you know, questions and answers, etc. A lot of people thought that they were getting an eMMC4. This eMMC module is really specific to the Libre computer boards. Don't think that you're going to use it with anything else. This is the Libre computer website, and they have downloads their own special images of the various flavors of Linux, including uh, Raspbian, the Raspberry Pi OS, which I think that's what I want to go with. I'm going to go ahead and burn that to the SD card right now. Let's look at the getting started guide. I have to warn you, a lot of this website seems like it hasn't been uh, attended to in the last couple of years. Even the forums, there's just like a few meager posts recently from people asking questions and then you know you click on some links and the links are broken and so I, I'm just trying to frame the expectation here let's look at the getting started guide I like this one on the getting started guide where it says do not hot swap the eMMC module because you could short circuit it and you know damage the board or damage the eMMC module but then the user guide for the eMMC module goes on to say that you're going to hot swap the eMMC module. Okay, so we've burnt the Raspbian image to an SD card and we're ready to fire it up. Here's the setup here. I've got the La Potato with the SD card inserted. Of course, we're using the AGP Tech for screen capture. And I've got a wireless keyboard and this portable monitor attached. So let's go ahead and boot it up. Whoa, wait. That's not, <laughs> that's not Raspbian booting up. That's, that, there's Android, there's an Android image on the eMMC. It looks like it's set up for like an Android entertainment uh, system here. You know, that's cool and all. I didn't see that in the documentation. Let's go ahead and check it out a little bit. Yeah, I thought I was going to boot into Raspbian and then be able to transfer the image over to the eMMC. 
Again, like I said, the documentation says don't hot swap the EMMC and then the EMMC documentation says you must hot swap the EMMC. All right, so here I have booted up Raspbian. I've hot swapped the EMMC. I didn't even put that on camera because I, <laughs> that small part, not wanting to short it out, I just couldn't have the camera between me and the gadget. And so we try to run their commands. And the first command is mount the EMMC. And then the second command is basically read the available images. Now I'm getting this error here that says, ah, you can't do anything because you've already mounted these blocks on the EMMC device. So I'm afraid I'm going to give up on that. What I want to try instead is to flash the image using that USB cable. Let's check that out. Yeah, so when you hold down the boot button and attach the USB cable, this gets detected as the GX chip. So I searched for drivers for GX chip, and that led me to the AML burn tool. So we're going to download the AML burn tool from here. Yeah, and when you're on these websites, don't click on the big green buttons that say start. That's really just not what you want to do. They make it really difficult to see what you actually want to click on. Please don't click on that. You don't want to install whatever, whatever is behind that green button there. I just, just don't. Anyway, so the next thing that I needed to do still was to install this libwdi driver. And the only way I was able to do it, I couldn't use the driver installation that I managed to find. The only way I was able to do it was using this Zadig tool, which lets you replace some USB device drivers with other USB device drivers. Uh, it's like a whole nother story. I was going to share the Zadig tool in another video. So we're not going to go into complete detail here. But yes, we are able, yeah, see, there's the Zodig USB driver. So then I load the AML burn tool and it says, no, you need version two, which is the USB burning tool. So I have to go search that and dodge all of those click here, green buttons. And I get the USB burning tool. It's basically version two loaded. And now we're ready to try uploading an image. And you see here first, with check image checked, we get this unable to parse the image error. So I uncheck the check image and go ahead and try to import the image again. And now it says it can't create the XML file. And I really, I spent about an hour doing this. And so suffice to say, I don't know how I'm going to use the EMMC module at this point. I went through the news groups and other forums uh, the next day and still, yeah, didn't come up with something concrete. You're welcome to leave a comment down below if you've successfully <laughs> migrated an image from the SD card to the EMMC module on the La Potato. I'd love to hear it. Also, comment down below on whatever distro you think I should be installing on here. Okay, so let's be honest. La Potato by Libre Computer, like I say, that doesn't appear to be a lot of current support. Most of the website information is, goes back to anywhere from uh, 2018 to 2020 at the latest. The forum posts tend to drop off at 2020. There's a few questions asked on the forums that really aren't getting answered by much of anybody since. I see some posts from just the last couple of months, but no answers for those. So I'm going to tell you, honestly, the Libre computer, La Potato, is essentially a reasonable replacement for a Raspberry Pi 3 at $50. You could burn an SD image. It has to be one of their Libre computer's custom images. Or you can install the eMMC and have an Android Media Center if that's what you want. All right, so leave a comment down below. 
give this video a like. And before you go on to watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.